Former President Trump has made some pretty wild posts uh, recently on social media. Uh, one of them was that uh, the cocaine found in the White House was had belonged to either the president or his son. Are you willing to say that that's not the case, that they don't belong to them? I, I don't have uh, a response to that because we have to be careful about the Hatch Act. Uh, what I will say is that I have noticed there does seem to be some increasing frustration coming from that corner in general. Uh, and I think it is probably rooted in the contrast between their substantive policy records. All right, guys. So once again, we got to talk about the White House cocaine story, a story that continues to evolve and evolve and evolve because there's clearly a cover up going on by the White House. Now, when this first happened, they told us it's not coke, right? Even though, you know, a lot of people were speculating that's what it was. And they say, OK, well, it is coke. OK, but, you know, it's not hunters. right? It's not Hunter Biden's coke. They tried to say that it was in the library. Now it's not in the library. They try to say, well, you know, it was found in the West Wing, okay, where the tourists go, right? They try to blame it on the tourists, right? Now they're saying that it wasn't found in the West Wing. It actually was found in the West Executive entrance, okay? The West Executive entrance in a secure location, the Situation Room, more specifically. But it wasn't Hunter, right? It's not Hunter Biden's coat, okay? This is what they're saying. They're even going as far as to low-key throw Kamala Harris under the bus and say, who knows, right? Uh, it was found there where the VP parked. So maybe it's Kamala's. Kelly, the big change is where this was found. And it was found, um, by my observation, in a much more secure place, limited access place, than that West Wing reception area. It's still a publicly trafficked, a, a frequently trafficked place, but it's down near the Situation Room, right off West Executive, down below. And normal people, just average people, just can't get in there, even with the entry from the Northwest Gate. Well, let me let me bring you up to date with the reporting that I have. What we have learned is that there are, in fact, two West Wing entrances. You know that. I know that. But for the benefit of our audience. And now the investigation has progressed. And so they're saying the West executive entrance, which, as you noted, is closer to the Situation Room and closer uh, to the. Uh, the Navy mess where there's the facilities for food and so forth. It is uh, also next to West Executive Drive. That's where, for example, the vice president's vehicle is parked. Yeah. So you've seen that, you heard that. OK, they're even speculating <laughs> that who knows, maybe it can be Kamala's. Right. But uh, there's a bombshell video that has come out uh, of Hunter Biden at the White House. I believe this happened during the 4th of July. I could be wrong about that. OK, but. Apparently, this video right here shows Hunter Biden uh, tweaking, right? I mean, look at this video. This guy appears, again, he appears to be tweaking. He appears to be kind of like losing his mind or whatever, right? Like, look, look at this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think this guy, again, he may be high off something. I don't know, right? But videos like this definitely don't do the man just, I mean, it looks like he's sweating. Maybe it's hot, okay? It could be hot. I mean, who knows? We could be overthinking this. But let's look at a longer version here, right? There's a longer version. It's Hunter Biden. He's stressing out, right? Helping out with the kids. Again, maybe he's stressed out by the kids, okay? Maybe that's it. Who knows? I would hope he wouldn't be, you know, doing coke around his kids, but who knows? <laughs> Jill Biden looks like she ain't having none of it, okay? She like, she just, she's done with Hunter, okay? She's done with all this stuff. This part right here also caught my eye. Look at Hunter. He about to leave. Look at this. Boom. Look at that. <laughs> Zoom in on that right there. He hit his sniff his nose. Y'all see that? He playing with his nose. <laughs> right? He playing with his nose. Y'all tell me what that is, bruh. Y'all know better than I do. <laughs> right? Look at that. There we go. Bell. He playing with his nose. <laughs> okay? I'm not sure. Y'all tell me, bro. Y'all tell me, is he tweaking or what? I'm not sure, right? I'm not sure. But this is this is this is what what is coming out, right? This is what people are speculating about in regards to whether or not, you know, that it belonged to Hunter, right? And um the affirmative action press secretary was actually asked directly, point blank, uh, did this cocaine belong to Joe or Hunter Biden? And uh, the affirmative action press secretary, of course, got 
triggered, right? She got triggered and didn't like that question. Take a look. In the most recent killings, um, really tragic. Wondering what the White House has to say about that. And then secondly, um, <laughs> Sorry to bring up cocaine again, but um, there was a question yesterday during the press gaggle with um, Andrew Bates that was, I guess, he said that it had, he, did, he was avoiding it because of the Hatch Act. I'm just asking again, can we just say once and for all whether or not the cocaine belonged to the Biden family? So, <laughs> a couple of things there. Um, he mentioned the Hatch Act because the question was posed to him in the Donald in yes. using Donald Trump, and so he was trying to be very mindful. Yes, I uh, uh, okay, I, I hear you, but you're asking me a question, so I'm answering it for you. Um, and so that's why he said the Hatch Act. So I would, I would, you know, have you read the transcript and read the transcript fully, so you can see exactly what he was trying to say. So that's number one. So we're not avoiding the question. That is not true. We've answered this question litigated this question for the last two days exhaustively. Um, you know, there has been some irresponsible reporting uh, about the family. And, uh, and so I got to call that out here. And I have been very clear. I was clear uh, two days ago when talking about this over and over again as I was being asked a question. As you know, and media outlets reported this, the Biden family was not here. They were not here. They were at Camp David. They were not here Friday, they were not here Saturday, they were not here Sunday, they were not even here Monday. They came back on Tuesday. So to ask that question is actually incredibly irresponsible. And and um, I'll just leave it there. Okay. Yeah, so she's triggered, right? She's triggered by the media asking questions that they should be asking, which is, yeah, did the coat belong to Joe Hunter, right? Who did it belong to? Okay, I mean, that that is a legitimate question, and she's getting mad, and then trying to say, well, I've been clear. I've been clear. And I'm like, no, no, you haven't been clear. You've been the exact opposite of clear. This is the least transparent administration ever, okay? Because anytime you're asked a question about something that is uncomfortable that you really don't want to talk about, you don't answer. You refer people to everybody else, right? I mean, that that's what Corinne John Pierre's specialty is, okay? Jen Psaki's specialty was to circle back, right? I'm going to circle back. Uh, Corinne John Pierre's specialty is, well, you know, I'm going to refer you to somebody else. Just don't ask me, okay? Um, and it's just hilarious because when she continues to get questions uh, that she hasn't answered because she hasn't answered these questions, she wants to boohoo, whine, and complain and say, oh, well, yeah, uh, questions are inappropriate. It's like, no, they're not inappropriate. Because, again, you haven't been clear. Does the coke belong to Joe or Hunter? Now, look, you know, at this point, they're not even ruling out whether or not Joe or Hunter had the coke, which tells you everything you need to know. That is Hunter's, right? I don't think that Joe is uh is, is on that stuff, okay? He's, he's way too sleepy, right? I don't think he's on the stuff, and I don't know if his heart can take it, right? I'm just saying. The guy's almost 80 years old. But... You know, what they're trying to do here is to run cover. They're trying to pretend like, hey, you know, this is not a big deal. Uh, we need to sweep on a rug. Eventually, we'll find out who it belongs to when, you know, the White House is full of cameras, right? They inspect, okay, and they go through everybody uh, when you're entering the White House, okay? I mean, it's not easy to just smuggle drugs into the White House. Uh, if somebody did it, um, again, they did a really good job of it, okay? Or... Or maybe they're a member, a family member, or a person of position of power where they would not go through strenuous uh, security checks before uh, getting allowed access to the White House. Now, apparently, the Situation Room is under construction. So they're saying that, well, nobody uses the Situation Room, um, and the only people that could have had it is the workers. Only the workers go down there. And I'm like, well... Um, that's all the more reason why somebody like Hunter, right? Somebody who may be trying to do, you know, a little bit of coke, right, <laughs> on the down low, okay? That could be all the more reason why you would go down there, right? It's because you're like, okay, well, nobody comes down here except the construction workers. Let me go down there and do a couple lines, right, and then come back up. I'm just saying, whether that's Hunter or somebody in the Biden administration, um, we need answers to these questions. But we can't ever get any because the affirmative action press secretary can't tell us anything, right? She can't tell us anything, and then she wants to get mad because, you know, people are asking questions, right? Being like, hey, you know, we, we want to know what's up. 
Um, but you know, I mean, look, here's the thing, man. Um, I don't care all that much about this story about Hunter Biden doing coke at the White House. All I know is this, is that if this were the Trump administration, right? If this was, you know, some speculation about Trump Jr. doing drugs or whatever, we all know uh, how this would be the number one story in media, okay? They would never stop talking about this. Right now, what the White House is trying to do is that they're continuing to change the story, change the story, change the story because there's a cover-up. Obviously, there's a cover-up. I mean, everybody knows who it belongs to, okay? We know who's the problem child in the Biden family, the Biden crime family. And what they're trying to do is just to continue to cover it up uh, and to change the story until it just goes away, right? They did the same thing with Joe Biden and his classified documents, okay? Remember how it was, you know, some document that was found in Biden's office or something and the story kept changing and changing and changing, right? <laughs> until we finally... Uh, got to the point where, again, Biden was getting caught with documents in his garage, okay, in his house, right? It's just funny, okay? Uh, when Biden gets in trouble or get caught, the story continues to change and change and change. We can't ever get the truth from what is supposed to be the most tra transparent administration ever, right? It's supposed to be so much more transparent than the Trump administration, but we've got nothing but lies and falsehoods and misdirection from this administration since day one. Okay, um, so again, I you know, look, here's the thing. At the end of the day, it's not a good look, right? Uh, they should be doing coke in the White House, right? Uh, but at this point, you know, it, it, it comes clear to me that anybody that visits the White House clearly doesn't have respect for it because, again, we have people that are willing to go topless at the White House, okay? They're willing to do coke at the White House. They're willing to do all types of stuff at the White House, Um that, you know, hey, it, it just seems like there's just not respect for this American monument anymore, okay? And it really is a shame. I think that's my biggest issue with it. I just wish they would come out here and tell the truth and say, look, you know, Hunter still got a problem, right? And this is why he did it. But, you know, Joe Biden loves him, right? <laughs> Joe Biden loves him, okay? His father still loves him because we know that that's what they're trying to do with the Hunter Biden investigation in Congress where... They're trying to turn it into a love story, right? Well, Joe Biden loves his son so much that they sold out America together overseas, right? This is the type of stuff that they put out there in the mainstream local media. But we know that's coming, right? We know the end result of this is them going to be, is them saying, hey, this belonged to Hunter and, um, you know, Joe Biden loves him, right? Joe Biden loves him. So if you criticize it, then, you know, clearly you hate fathers, right? That's what it's going to come down to. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, most importantly, share, and black conservative perspective. Peace.